what is the best key in Escape from Tarkov and why. In this video I'm going to show you one single key which is in my opinion the best key in Escape from Tarkov right now and of course how you can make a lot of money. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back for you guys out there, glad to see you again and today I'm talking about the best key in Escape from Tarkov. In my opinion, it's the custom smart room key. So what you should do right now is grab a beer or two or any other drink, enjoy this video and let's start. So with Escape from Tarkov 12.9, the price of the mark key for custom increased a lot. Compared to the last wipe, the mark room key is right now really expensive, but it is worth to buy or to get a mark room key for customs because you will make a lot of profit out of it. To show you how good this key is, I bought a brand new key and made 25 runs and I have one bonus run because I killed a guy who just opened the mark room on customs because I had the second best spawn and this guy was just a little bit unfortunate. First of all, I want to show you the top spawn and the second best spawn for the marked room on cost customs. The best spawn which you can get is close to the new gas station in the newer area on customs. And if you start right here, you can sprint immediately straight to the marked room. And if you are quick enough, you can get the loot and get out of there before the second best spawn is close by. What that means is you can go straight up to the marked room, you can open up every, everything, be aware that Rashala or some scavs can, can spawn of course inside of dorms. What actually can happen is that you are leaving the building, you are on the second floor or on the first floor and you can hear the metal stairs or some enemies pushing um, into dorms because they had the second best spawn. But as I said, you are on the second floor or first floor and you can leave the building. So the second best spawn is close to the bridge, close to the red hall. You are spawning very, very close to the bridge and this is the second best spawn. What that means is that if you have an opponent who has the best spawn, which I showed you a couple seconds ago, and he has a very high stamina, he can loot the marked room before you arrive there. So you should consider that if you are pushing from this side, from the second best spawn, that there can be player inside of dorms if you want to go for the marked room straight. So if you want to use the metal stairs, be aware that you can get shot from outside or from the inside or that and if you want to go and if you want to enter the building from the first floor, as always, you should consider having players above you. Let's talk about customs and the profit from the marked room. In my opinion, customs is a little bit underestimated and the reason is quite simple. So maybe you are a little bit unfortunate and you don't have to top spawn for the marked room you maybe have the top spawn for the crack house. That's why you should consider also go to the crack house. You can loot some intelligence over there, paper, you have duffel bags, jackets and all of that stuff. So on top of that, you can go to the new constructions and you have a lot of buildings. You have the streamer house, you have, you have a lot of stashes. So in my opinion, customs has a lot of loot if you know where you have to go. On top of that, in my opinion, I'm right now level 58 and I tried a lot of different ways to loot different maps. And what I experienced, especially right now, interchange is very crowded. You can get the best loot or let's say you have a very, very good loot method on interchange, but also a lot of chats are going on interchange, hunting killer, hunting for GPUs and all of that stuff. Shoreline, of course, is always popular. If you want to go to the resort, you can get red key cards, GPUs and all of that stuff. But then we have customs. Customs is a place for a lot of people who are fresh and new to the game. You should use this advantage, of course, for your loot runs and you are not facing big squads or very geared squads that often compared to other maps. Because Reserve has also a lot of very high tier loot, GPUs, three marked rooms and all of that stuff, Raiders. So if you are a little bit new to this game and if you want to have, let's say, a little bit more relaxing loot runs compared to other maps, consider going customs, stashes, as I said, and especially you should have the marked room. So for this video, I made 25 loot runs, which is one key, as I said, and one additional loot run, and the profit is insane. So as you can see in this video, right after my first two runs, I looted two dog tech cases, and that's basically the key. Depends on the price. Early on, you have to pay 700,000 rubles. I guess right now it's a little bit cheaper. You can, and you will find a lot of Ursas in marked rooms, and you need them either for the mission or you can sell it early on. Document cases. Holotnik and all of that stuff and that and on top of that you will find a lot of ammunition some 338 AP rounds 7 and 39 
AP and all of that stuff. So in the end of this video, you can see on an average basis how good the marked room in Escape from Tarkov 12.9 is. Right now I'm interested in your opinion about the customs marked room. How do you earn your money right now on Escape from Tarkov? So in always guys, your support is awesome. Don't forget to like this video that we Germans can show the world that we can win at least something. And if it's your like, I will really appreciate it. See you next video guys. Bye.